Jones when he rattled his bones. Old Parson Brown running around like a clown. Old Aunt Jemima, she's past 83. She's a hollering life full of help. Watch your step. Watch Howdy! It's Jennifer Priest here today, and I'm going to be creating a pennant banner using this gorgeous new fabric from Samantha Walker. This is um, fabric that she designed and it's got really cute little western pattern on it. And what we're going to do is create a pennant banner that says howdy using chipboard pennants. So here's how we're going to get started. The first thing you're going to do is take a piece of chipboard and this is to cut your pennants. And this is 6 by 12 chipboard and you'll just use a ruler along the side line it up and on one side you're going to mark it at 10 inches 6 inches and 2 inches and on the other side you're going to mark it at 4 and 8 and what this is going to do is it's going to create pennants that are 4 inches wide by 6 inches tall and then now you're just going to create like a Charlie Brown chevron shape by drawing from each line starting at the corner you'll draw and connect each line and I'm using one of our Tombow uh, markers because it gives a nice straight line and then you'll take your paper trimmer or an exacto knife or craft knife and then you'll just cut along these lines and what that will do is it will give you pendants. So you can see they kind of go like this before you cut them out. So this will give you five pendants. And that's perfect for us because our banner is going to say howdy. All right, the next thing you're going to do is use some of our Tombow Power Bond Adhesive and apply that onto your pendant. And what's nice about this adhesive is that everything sticks to it. So I can definitely use it for fabric. And then I'll choose one of my fabrics. Like this one's really cute with the... <clears throat> it has little um, horses and things like that. And I'm just going to turn my fabric over so that the wrong side is up. And then I will lay my pennant on the fabric. Now you can use an X-Acto knife or craft knife to cut this out or a rotary cutter if you have that, if you do a lot of fabric stuff. Um, I just have a craft knife from Westcott. So I'm just gonna cut along the edges. Now it's okay if it's not exact because we do want it to fray just a little bit. And we're gonna add a ruffle too. Alrighty. Oops, it moved. And then we'll repeat this for each triangle in our banner. You ought to see Deacon Jones when he rattled his bones. Old Parson Brown running around like a clown. Old Aunt Jemima, she's past 83. She's a hollering life full of help. Watch your step, watch your step. One legged Joe spinning around on his toe. He throws away his crutches, hollered, hey, let her go. He hollered, hail, hail, the gang's all here for the Alabama Jubilee. Now what's nice about this uh, fabric is that because it's an all over pattern, it doesn't matter what direction we go. So we can actually do two pendants at the same time. <clears throat> and if you're interested in getting this fabric, it's available from RileyBlake.com. And Samantha Walker has several different fabrics that are available through Riley Blake that are super cute and go with her. It's kind of the same style as her paper designs. 
that she had done for Creative Imaginations. Okay. So now what I'm going to do on the edges, you can see that there's kind of some fabric hanging off, is I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and kind of rub it along the edge there. And that's going to help fray this fabric along the edge because that is what we want. And we can also take some of our Tombow glue stick and put it on here and that's going to help hold things down. ruffles is or to make ribbon out of fabric is I have this really cute gingham fabric and what I'm going to do is here on the end I'm going to cut a little snip about an inch wide maybe a little more than an inch and I'm going to need a few snip a few lengths of this ribbon so to speak and all I'm going to do is at the tear line I'm just going to tear and what that does is it gives you a nice like frayed edge and you can pull some strings away from it to make it really frayed. And so at each snip you just tear and that will give you more ribbon. Jones when he rattled his bones. Old Parson Brown running round like a clown. Old Aunt Jemima, she's past 83. She's a hollering like full of pep. Watch your step, watch your step. Okay, so we have all of our fabulous ribbon. And I'm still waiting for my glue stick to dry all the way. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to put my letters for my howdy together. And I cut these on my silhouette die cut machine. And you can use any kind of die cut machine or if you have like a, um, a machine that has like a Sizzix or something that has an alphabet, you could totally use that too. And I'm just going to use some Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue to glue the tops of my letters, whoops, to my project. And what I like about the fine tip applicator of this glue is that you can get it in these really tight little spaces. One legged Joe spinning round on his toe. Throwed away his crutches, hollered, hey, let her go. He hollered, hey, oh, hey, the gang's all here. Funny Alabama Jubilee. You want all the edges to be adhered down because this is going to be a home decor project so you don't want them to be you know hanging out all curling and stuff so this glue is really good because it's very tacky it gets all the way to the edge let's get that little string off of there All right, now the next thing we're going to do is glitter our letters. So I have some fairy dust glitter. It's a very fine glitter. And what I'm going to do to apply it is I'm going to use this Tombow glue pen. And this is really cool because you can put glue in just the place where you want it. So I'm just going to outline my little letters here with the Tombow glue pen. And 
And I'm just going to do a little at a time so that my glue doesn't totally dry before I can glitter it. And if it does, we can touch it back up. So you can see right on the edges of the letter where I put the glue, the glitter is sticking. So it's nice because you can get the glitter exactly where you want it. And you could use this with embossing powder too if you wanted to do some kind of detailing on a stamp or something like that. And then just heat set your embossing powder. So there I have a pretty little glittered letter. I'm going to continue and do this on all of my letters. You ought to see Deacon Jones when he rattled his bones. Old Parson Brown running around like a clown. Old Aunt Jemima, she's past 83. She's a hollering light full of help. Watch your step, watch your step. One legged Joe spinning around on his toes. All right, so my letters are all done now. And it says howdy, and it's very glittery and fun. But it's not too overpowering glitter. Like if I use a spray ink, it might have been too much glitter. So the glue paint allows me to give just a little bit of shimmer, but not overpowering. All right, so now my um, fabric, my glue pit, my glue stick is pretty much dry. So I'm just going to keep shredding the edges of my little fabric here. And I can kind of snip it a little to help with the shredding. I just want it to be a little bit frayed and kind of fun and funky on the edges. You ought to see Deacon Jones when he rattled his bones. Old Parson Brown running around like a clown. Old Aunt Jemima, she's past 83. She's a hollering light full of help. Watch your step, watch your step. One-legged Joe spinning around on his toe. He throws away his crutches, hollered, hey, let her go. He hollered, hail, hail, the gang's all here for the Alabama Jew. 